Eigentlich, was hier vor sich geht, spüren Sie denn nicht, dass hier etwas besudelt wird, was Ihnen eigentlich heilig sein müsste? Hat unser Volk nicht lang genug unter völkischem Minderwertigkeitsgefühl gelitten? Propaganda films like this encourage the cult of youth. Rebelliousness was exploited by the Hitler Youth and used for the purposes of the Third Reich. We rebelled against the rest of the world. We were aufmüpfig gegen die ganze übrige Welt. Das ganze Dritte Reich war eine Rebellion. The whole of the Third Reich was a rebellion against the civilized, humane world. As Hitler increased his stranglehold over Germany through the 1930s, the Hitler Youth became more and more important in boys' lives. The number of meetings and activities expanded to fill their free time and allow them no respite from Nazi thinking. Das im Sklavenkette liegt, die wir Jungen eins zerbrechen werden. Wir erneuern in dieser Nacht den Führer und seine Idee, den Treueschwur. Sieg! Hey! Hey! For many boys, loyalty to the Führer replaced loyalty to their families. Ich habe ja mich dann als Hitlerjunge geschämt. Zu meinem Bedauern muss ich das heute sagen. Aber I'm sorry to have to admit that when I was a member of the Hitler Youth, I was actually ashamed of my father because he wanted nothing to do with National Socialism. Nationalsozialismus nichts wissen wollte. Und ich habe mit meinem Bruder in einer Kammer neben der Küche geschlafen. My brother and I slept in a little room next to the kitchen. One night I heard voices. I heard that it was a Jew and he wanted to cross the border. My father said he'd take him over that night. And so he crossed the border with the Jew and came back alone. I wished, I'll be perfectly honest with you, I wished at that very moment that I wasn't the son of such parents. But in many homes, parents were happy to see their children become diligent Nazi pupils. There were homes where the boys were told, keep your hearts free. It wasn't like that with me. All my classmates' parents supported the Nazis. Alle Eltern für die Nazis. Niemand hat mich... No one encouraged me or gave me the nerve to oppose the Nazis. And I, everything was 100% in those days. I succumbed to the Nazis 100%. The regime ensured that children repeatedly heard a simple yet seductive message. They were Germany's future. The concept of youth was idealized. You are. The young are. Old people have no idea. They're past it. They've had their day. Young people love to hear that kind of thing. By 1935, the Nazis had charmed four million young Germans into joining the Hitler Youth, half the nation's children. It was now time to forcibly recruit the rest. In 1935, a mass rally was organized at Nuremberg by the leader of the Hitler Youth, 
Baldur von Schirach. Mein Führer, ich melde Ihnen die größte Jugendkundgebung der Welt. Ich melde Ihnen den freiwillig vollzogenen Eintritt von 917.445 Jugendlichen am 20. April dieses Jahres. When we saw the crowds, and there were thousands and thousands of us, all in the same uniform, we felt elated because they were all like us. I saw boys cry. To me that was unusual. In uniform, in the middle of the day, they were crying. I went over to one of them because it bothered me that a German boy in our group should be crying. I asked what was wrong and he said, it was so lovely, it was so lovely that I'm trembling. The rally was an important propaganda tool in the Nazis' policy of Gleichschaltung the idea that class should be eradicated from German society. For the Nazis, the Hitler Youth was a shining example of Gleichschaltung at work. The uniform made us all virtually equal, although we came from different social classes. A uniform put the son of a tradesman or a worker on the same level as the son of a professor. We were comrades. Nach Ihrem Befehl, mein Führer, steht hier eine Jugend, eine Jugend, die keine Klasse und keine Kaste kennt. This imposition of uniformity meant the dispossession of the German boy and the destruction of his individuality. This was von Schirach's aim, and he achieved it. Alle Jugend dem Führer, das ist die Parole der HJ. Und wie in den vergangenen Jahren, rufen wir auch heute den Jahrgang der Zehnjährigen zum Dienst unter Adolf Hitlers Fahne. In 1936, as Germany prepared to host the Berlin Olympics, the Hitler Youth Movement launched its most ambitious recruitment drive yet. Boys turning 10 that year were identified from birth certificates and their parents were then visited by Hitler Youth members. A mixture of charm and threats persuaded 90% of parents to enroll their children. Those who refused to join faced sanctions. It wasn't what I'd call voluntary. There was no real possibility, at least in normal circumstances, of not joining the Hitler Youth or the Jungvolk. That is, if you didn't want to be a real outsider, even at school. The school got a letter from the Hitler Youth Tribunal saying I should be expelled. I didn't deserve to go to a grammar school because I hadn't joined the Hitler Youth. The headmaster then suggested to my parents that they might like to take me out of school straight away. Non-Nazi youth groups continued to meet, but if discovered, they risked trouble from the Hitler Youth security patrols. We were just having a normal meeting when a Hitler Youth patrol of 20 or 25 boys, all strapping lads, burst in and started to thrash us. Our worst experience came one Sunday evening when we were returning from an excursion. The Hitler Youth were waiting on the bridge over the Oder. They beat us up and pushed the leader of our small group, 19-year-old Konrad Feicht, off the bridge. The Hitler Youth had annexed every other youth movement in Germany. 